Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our Zet solo play of Destiny 2. I'm Zet from Zet Naki and Adam, and together, we're in the farm. Now, we just got done getting our light back, so we've got our powers, and now we've... The base of the game is open to us now. We can go do shit. But I'm gonna go speak to Hawthorne, and I'm gonna see if I can trade some of this glimmer I've obtained for some better starting gear. Um, and then we're gonna see if we can... Get some missions taken care of. There are a lot of exos about. That's nice. We were sort of underpopulated previously. Well, look at you. You got your life back. I don't know how you, how did, you know that? but I'm glad. Because we're gonna need it. There are a lot more survivors out there, and they need our help. We gotta get the word out that the farm is a safe haven. I sent a friend into the EZ mm -hmm. a few hours ago to set up a comm network. His name's Good. Devram K. Good guy. Devram K. Great shot. Don't tell him I said that. Excellent. If you give him a hand, I'd take it as a personal favor. I'll totally do that for you. Considering you're my only point of contact and shafting you would probably end poorly for everyone. So, yeah, let's continue. Um, my vision for the travel was true. It led you back to the light. The camp is even safer now that you've reconnected with your power but there are still a lot of people out there in the wild who need refuge help them get to the farm meet hawthorne's friend devram by selecting a landing zone trossland in the edz except so we're now finally going to be able to go to our oh yes please i'll take that we're finally going to be able to go i think that's a good one ah they're both energy weapons. That was dumb of me. I really should have paid more attention. Hmm. I did want to try to wield a viced weapon. I'll put it on for a little while. Dual wielding sidearms may be fun. Also, I specialized in hand cannons previously, but I think I may actually like sidearms better, just the way they fire. But I will admit, popping heads off of the hand cannon will always be deeply satisfying. Alright. I think that's really all there is to see around the farm. I wonder how far does the farm go? What happens if I walk out here? Okay. The farm ends. Good to know. <laughs> Almost killed myself there. Uh, Alright. Yep. I'd say that's all we can do here. Let's move on. I don't need to go to war, but I can go directly to the director, right? The farm. Earth, the Red War. Trostland. And the Devrim K. So I can track that head here. And this is the European dead zone as far as... Okay. There's the forest, the tunnels. Lots to explore. I'm going to have fun doing that. Let's get this story mission out of the way first, and we'll just go exploring the area and see what we can find. That's one of the biggest draws about Destiny 2 from Destiny 1, is that the patrol area is supposed to be larger and with a lot more to explore inside of them. Because um, that's how you get your other subclasses now. It used to be you just leveled up, and more subclasses would unlock, except for the third subclasses, which were unlocked during the Taken King uh, expansion pack. But now all three subclasses are in the game at base, but you've got to discover the ones they don't start you with. Um, so we need to have to find out how to become a Void Walker again. That's my, that's my first goal. Our first goal of this playthrough is to get my Void Light back. And stop using this Dawnblade crap. Oh, and then increasing my level as a Void, as a Void Warlock so that I can start siphoning people's HP away from them. Which, with the restoration of my close range playstyle. Which I'm still harping back. about, yes. EDZ is rough, especially around the old town. Just remember, mm -hmm. refugees from the city have it a lot rougher. You want to help them? Find Devram K. I will totally do that. I have no choice. <laughs> All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Load. Down time. I wonder if I could have my editor cut out the loading screens. 
So we just go from action to action. Alright, so we've got this new power. Circle of healing. Awesome. Also, it gives me an overshield. But it disappears if I stand outside of it. Okay. Good to know. Now that I know how that power works, let's continue. So Vice is a, this type of weapon is from a brand new weapon manufacturer in this game. Well, that's interesting. Whoa! You better back the fuck up. Nah. <laughs> I can force push you again. <laughs> better stay out of my melee range. I'm distracted immediately. Some area denial. Oh, what you're running from? Get, get your ass over here! I missed both of those. Yeah, I did. Come on. And to get myself out of the habit of punching everything I see. Because previously as a Void Walker, punching was how I fought a lot of the time. Because you can drain the... Again, drain the health away. Would you... Are you guys just spawning in here? Is that the thing? Is that what's going on? When will you stop spawning? I would like to feel safe. Yay. Alright, the vice weapon's pretty cool. I can feel like I'm a hand cannon, though. Also, put on my new helmet. It's a different color! Shed all you know. Seek answers beyond the light. Interesting. Also, it's, it's clearly like a makeshift warlock hood. None of the mentally enhancing... Properties that normal warlock hoods have. The increased sensorium to help you. How accurate are you from a distance? About that accurate? Gotcha. Bam. Up, oh, grenade. Oh, I saw that motherfucker. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get over here. Come on. All right, uh, let me go actually do the shit I came here to do. <laughs> oh, I'm so easily distracted. This open world type games or games where there's a lot of shit to do around in an area are horrible for me. I have ADHD and this is everything I see. I'm like, I gotta kill it, gotta shoot it, gotta run at it, gotta fight it, gotta explore it. All right. Oh, you look interesting. Hello. Uh oh. All right. Nope. I'm not gonna let that happen. You're an ultra, and he take you seriously. Yep. Wow. The speed is a little bit different in Destiny 2 from Destiny 1. I've noticed. Everything's a tiny bit faster. Ooh. A high value target has dropped its plunder. I'll take that. What you got? EDZ token. Redeemable. Okay, I guess it's a new currency type. Am I full on ammo? My kinetic ammo is full. Alright, so I'm gonna use my I'm going to use my sidearm for a while. Alright, so I'm supposed to be talking to Devrim K. And I'm getting distracted by killing a bunch of enemies, but I'm on my way. It only took half the episode. <laughs> uh Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Devrim! Talk to me. Yes. I fear I have no tea to serve. Is it dire times indeed? Devram K. The oh, I can tell I'm gonna love you already. City militia. You handsome, ragged motherfucker. Now I serve at the pleasure of my dear friend Soraya Hawthorne. First on the docket. Contact other refugees and tell them of the. Yeah, scout rifle. That means building a crime network from the ground up. And even though I happen to be a damn good shot, the fool have given me a devil of a time. I dare say uh, you could yeah, I'll take a it. Few rounds with the enemy. 
Stay low and move yep. quietly. Alright, so new adventures are available. Let's open the director real quick and look at the map. Uh Devrim K, right? A new frontier. An adventure in the European Z Zone. Alright, let's head to that next. First, let's equip the new bond we have. Ah, level three. Can't put that on yet. I will put on the EDZ shell and scrap this other one. Also, new hand cannon. Awesome. So I'll be replacing this sidearm with this hand cannon. Hopefully you get a new sidearm to replace the hand cannon in my energy weapon slot. Um, again, I'm trying to figure out which one I prefer. Because hand sidearms, which are the di basically automatic, semi-automatic pistols versus revolvers. Let's get started. In the previous the game, floor. hand cannons were primary arms. And sidearms, which is this gun right here, were secondary arms. But now... Either one can be either, depending on whether it's kinetic or energy-based. And if I can have a sidearm as my base weapon, I may take it. Um, hand cannons really reward high-precision shooting, um, which I would be capable of doing were I not also trying to talk while playing. Hey, are you a golden chest? Are you what golden? Oh, a guardian needs revival. I'm on my way, little dude. Don't... Don't. I'm gonna pick you up. I swear. I got your back. Whoa. That's what got him. A stealth dude with a shoddy. Ha. But we help each other. Also, healing for all. Shit. Wow. Oh, recommend power 60. These dudes are way more powerful than I am. Okay. But my pride is wounded. And I really want to kill him. So I'm going to go try to kill him. You all get to see firsthand what kind of a shitty person Zet really is. Hey, 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 you. Ooh, there's an engram on the ground too. That's loot. Alright, let's be more careful. You don't have your Void Walker powers, so you can't take their HP away to, fe to feed yourself. To feed your endless engine of war. I just want the engram. Yes! But I'm glad there's no durability loss in this game, because I am a. Uh, I would certainly have lost a fuck ton of. You know what? I'm out of here. There's just no way to stay alive with fighting these guys at the moment. Ooh! Did you die? Thank you, stronger person. Oh, shit. I shouldn't abandon this guy, but I totally fucking am. I know when I'm licked. And I got that engram. But I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna kill those guys in a second. I just need to get a bit stronger. I'm currently level 2. Lost and found. Pulse rifle, that can go. Uh, but basically, as I was saying, hand cannons require a lot more accuracy. So depending on how well I can perform while speaking, while wielding the hand cannon, is going to determine whether I use hand cannons or sidearms, my primary modus of putting things to the grave. Putting things to the sword, as it were. Definitely. Okay. Is this so my objective is actually that way. Do I have a sparrow right now? No. So I guess I'm walking. Dusk light. What's this? Hello. Interesting. What are dusk light shards redeemable for exactly? Questions for later. Find the banner. Was it like in here the entire time and I was just being a dumb fuck and ignoring it? It's probably the case. Yep. Oh, there's gonna be a lot of me getting distracted this playthrough. I hope you're prepared. We used to work with a fallen who flew this banner. Curious. Well, the fallen House of Judgment, yeah. 
imagine you'll find lots of objects like this out there. I'm a Reverix. Bit of a story to them. We both need some supplies hmm. to get going I like here. the House of Judgment. See if you find a cache in one of the they're the least nearby. hostile. Well, we've only met one member of the House of Judgment, but they're <clears throat> definitely cooperative at the very least. And honestly, I don't know where we're fighting the Fallen anyway. The Fallen want the Traveler, but we can share the Traveler. I never understood that. Well, because their their entire society is predicated on taking, which is why they want to steal it. Because in their minds, in the Fallen society, only that which is stolen is yours. Um, and your ability to keep stealing without being stolen from is what makes you a, uh, a higher member of their society. But it's not productive living that way. And honestly, if they allied with us, we could just both... They could be guardians, too. We could... Assuming that Fallen could be chosen. Because apparently the Traveler abandoned them once before. But hey, everyone deserves forgiveness. And honestly, I'd like to see in Destiny 3 being able to make Fallen as a player race. That'd be really cool. Having four arms, meeting all kick ass and shit. Loot region chest, which I'm guessing is this. Very More EDZ well tokens. To survive, we'll have to look for every opportunity. Keep your eyes peeled for more supplies in the wild. Take that. Speaking of the wild, I'll take that. There's a symbol on the wall of the church. Take a look. I'll take that. And dismantle. Early game, we're just gonna be dismantling every single piece of auxiliary gear we can because we are gonna need the cash. And there's more upgrades I can do. Looks like there's only one upgrade I can actually feasibly touch at this point, so we'll take our fireball grenade. Continuously damages enemies trapped inside. Bolts of solar light nearby enemies. Let's try that one. Assuming it works the same way fireball grenades worked in the previous yeah, world event. This has to be a new event. Am I strong enough? Looks like the fallen are bringing in a glimmer drill. Keep a sharp lookout. I'll take that. All right, glimmer drill. Let's put a stop to that. But where is that? Uh, is it over? Explore the church is my actual mission, but I would like to. Oh, I like that. Mm. Oh, baby. I love the feeling of pistols. You're going to see me dual wielding pistols most of this game, folks. And you're probably going to shit on me because there are a lot of better weapons I could be using. But, oh, God, pistols. Pistols of every kind. I have a major heart on. All right. I, I'm at a position where I don't want to. Okay. I panicked. But I think that was a good panic. Really, I should probably switch to my shoddy instead of burning my super, but... I'm, uh... I'm not making the most cost-effective decisions, and I rarely do when I'm playing games. It's just not as... Not as fun to do everything the proper, prim, and most efficient way all the time. I mean, when it's necessary, it's necessary, but going for the completely, going for the most optimal thing possible has never been the most fun for me. I always like to take underused or underappreciated options and try to make the most out of them, and that's what really drives me to have a lot of my fun in games. That and power armor. I will take power armor anywhere I can fucking find it, typically. Yep, yeah, fireball grenade still works the same. Sprint robes, new chest armor. Ooh, loot. Uh, do I break the drill? Do we do that now? No, we just kill all the fallen surrounding it. Gotcha. 
Let's go for it. Dope. Ooh, that's a new uh, that's a new hunter subclass with the spear. I like spears as well, but not as much as magic. Another sniper rifle? Are you kidding? Are you shitting me? Goodbye. <laughs> okay. New gear. Increased our power. Ran around in a circle for 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sure everyone's going to love this episode. <laughs> That's all the time we have for this particular episode. We'll, we'll do the story mission. I promise. Next time, that's all the play of Destiny 2. I'm Zed from Zed Knocking Adam. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, comment anyway. If you have any your constructive criticisms. Also, links to our social media in the description below. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.